to my next video. Today we are meeting Doug in his uh, unusual van, yeah, <laughs> but it unusual. seems to be uh, working really, really well for you. Mm -hmm. And so let's find all about it. Uh, Doug, it is an unusual looking van. Yeah. And how, tell the story. I uh, first, well, I started out, this was going to, uh, April would be my third year full time. Really? That's a long time. I did the first uh, year and a half in a 96 Dodge Caravan had the, the bed was sitting on the same box sitting situation I could sit up in it without just barely hitting your head. You're a fairly and, tall guy. Yeah, I'm 6'3 on a good day. Oh. And like I said, I was, I met the gentleman that built this van down in uh, Telephone Cove in uh, Laughlin. He, he happened to pull up next to me when I was camped down there doing the 14 day camp. Just fell in love with it looked great and he said I he didn't like it it's the first 94 is the first year they have the electronics transmission he was worried it was going to break down he said I'm going to be getting it, getting rid of it if you want it you can he said you could have it but you know but I was still the uh, caravan was working great still and so I said no but on my way back up to Oregon do some more exploring the transmission started slipping out Caravans are known for that. Yeah, it Trouble was. System. I was lucky. I put almost 40,000 miles on a uh, $500 caravan. That's a great deal, isn't it? Yeah, wow. totally. And I uh, called him back up and said, is the van still available? He's like, good thing you called because in a couple of days it was going to the boneyard. He really? was going to scrap it. scrap it. it. Wow. Scrap it. And he delivered it to uh, where I was at in uh, Coos Bay, Oregon for $400. Wow. I sold my caravan for five hundred dollars bought this and made a hundred dollars yes. yeah i had two the tires that came with it were the old 16 fives they had cords showing they were bad i'm surprised he made it so i uh, went to a junkyard and i got the tires and rims that are on it now for $80. Oh, another amazing deal. So I had a $20 profit. I spent nothing else. Incredible. The, like I said, the bed came with out of the caravan. The stove that was here and the propane tank came with it. Everything in here is been done free. So are you a mechanic? If you have problems, yeah. can you fix them? Yeah, so you first can... half of my life I uh, did drove uh, tow trucks, heavy duty tow trucks and a working mechanic and stuff. And so I, I'm not afraid if it, if it breaks down along the road, that's just where the van decided I need to be for that moment. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Figure out what's wrong with it and keep driving. And that's just astounding. You have, it's, it's free. It's, this van has been completely free. 100% free for me. Wow. Put gas, it came with one seat. A, right. A beat up driver's seat. And uh, I see you do have an extra seat there now. Mm -hmm. How did you get in? Walking to the uh, first meeting yesterday or the group introduction meeting, walked by its uh, RV and it said free. I talked to him, I said, uh, are these really free? He says, yeah. I said, can I get them on the way back? He's like, yeah, take, turn the free side around. It's yours. Or, an hour after we're done, if it's still there, I'll turn the free sign around. And they bolted in perfect like they were meant for it. The universe is taking good care of you. Yep, I'm calling this is my uh, second half. I'm on the Good Karma Tour. So are you retired? I'm on disability. Disability? So am I retired? It's um, mental stuff, issues. I have bipolar and uh, panic attacks real bad. And mm -hmm. Also physical. I have known uh, a good dozen people in my life who moved into a vans for emotional or mental issues. Mm -hmm. and I've known friends whose counselors recommended it mm -hmm. because the, the enclosed space, the organization, yeah. the freedom mm -hmm. was very good for their mental health. Yes. Now at one time I measured it up. I worked in a kitchen, Cody, Wyoming. The, well, we had three of us in a smaller space than the square footage of this. Yeah, yeah. And uh, so you're not having any problem at all in here. Well, it's bigger than your minivan. Yeah. It's bigger than the caravan. Yeah, it's nice to be able to put my pants on standing up. Yeah, and you're uh, being a tall guy, yes. especially. Totally. Some people think that that uh, there's a there are two ways to look at buying a vehicle: buy the newest you can, or and and then uh, hope you have it's trouble free, or 
buy the cheapest thing you can, get as many miles as you can out of yeah. it, and then let it go. Exactly. And being it's an older van like this, there's still parts everywhere for them. Yes. And it's you can still work on these. I am. This is from the era when I was like driving the tow truck and being a mechanic. It's the era I worked on things. So this is just working great for you. Yeah, it's fabulous for me. It's a little ugly on the outside. Yeah, it's on. It's got character. I do want to make some improvements inside and put a paint job on the outside and makes it a little better than it is right now. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's distinctive. It's, it looks like a nightmare going down the road. It does, yeah. It kind of does. Yeah. That's the truth. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> but it's free. Exactly. In fact, they paid you to take it. It's how it worked Pretty out. Much, you know, he delivered it to me. Right. I said, do you need bus fare to get back? Said, no, I've got somebody coming for me. He was upgrading to another, like, Class C, something bigger. Uh -huh. So it's, like I said, it's free. It's ugly, but it's free. Well, show us around. Show us how uh, how you're doing things. Uh, just uh, this is pretty basic. Uh, yeah, a bed. We've got the like I said, the bed kit. It's a regular twin size bed. Uh, my number one thing I tell everybody is the bed is your number one important thing in right. a van. If you if you wake up with a sore back off a bad bed, you got to use that same bad bed to try to feel better. So basically, everything is the way you bought it from yeah. him. Yes. And so you have the bed that you like, mm -hmm. that, it, you know, is comfortable for you. And no, it came out of the caravan. Yeah. And so you have storage under the van? Yes. And I have it in, uh, rather than leaving everything loose under there, Walmart has your three shelf unit. They have the foot wide ones, and then they have ones that are a little wider. Took one of those, pulled the drawers out, and they sli everything slides underneath. The, Perfect. Under the bed. This was more of my junk bin here. Right. I have one with tools and stuff I use all the time. And you need it, you just slide it in, slide it, and it's got a cool spot, and it's out of your way. And the, you know, I can paste the floor in here if I need to. Right. That's nice. Yeah. And uh, during bad weather, you're stuck in here. You need to be yeah. have some space. We've had uh, eight people in here at one time in the. Uh, weather getting out of the rain right it's around the bed and the floor and stuff so it's been it's been used it's well lived yeah it's been well lived well lived yeah <laughs> no question about that and more uh storage and over here a little counter it didn't have anything here it was all wide open this i found laying around at a, a cleaning up around a campsite i found this piece of wood so i put it across there it has the uh the metal uh huh. Braces like you'd have for a shelf. Right, just shelf brackets. There's shelf brackets there. And then put it across. Then uh, I did have my stove back here. And I noticed it was flexing real bad. So I just didn't have a two, two, a two by four long enough. So I took this two of them, screwed it together, stuck it in, and I'm a free man. Right. It's not. Uh... It's not the prettiest thing in the world, but it works. It's functional. Yeah. I go with functional. It doesn't have to look great. Right. And, and free, functional yes, and free. free. Two good things. Correct. This was brand new last night because with the new passenger seat, I used to hang my clothes there. Uh -huh. I lost my clothes closet, so I put it together last night. It's, right. See if I like it this way. Right. If it done, you'll change it. Exactly. That's what this was probably version five in here for just different things the way I put it, I have things set up. Mm hmm. You know, I've, I've learned in the caravan, if you hang everything, it keeps it off the floor. Right. So I can, like, behind my clothes here, you know, all my uh, backpacks. Backpacks, I see. Or my, this is where I keep my water, you know, six gallon, or seven, yeah, six gallon Walmart containers. Uh -huh. I had them from the minivan. Mm -hmm. That's my water, and I fill up this, the one gallon, which makes it more convenient. And I have my backpacks full of things, just... If you need a, being that as rustic as it is, if you need a hook there, throw a hook up. And that's just where it is. If you have you know, everything just as bad, it's not on the floor. Right. And you right. Know, keeping it off the floor, just as we all know in a van, you have to clean daily. And have a place for everything, yes. otherwise it's a cluttered nightmare. And you spend your whole day searching for things. If I, would, if I could get half the time spent that I spent looking for something back, I'd have an extra day in a week. Right. It just seems like I'm always was look, always looking for something. Right. You know, I don't know about everybody else, but 
this van has, and all of them I've had, have a black hole somewhere where yes. everything disappears to. So, and up here you have uh, your kitchen. Well, kitchen set up. Uh, we do the, it came with the two burner stove. Right now, you've caught me in the middle. I can't cook here, so I've got a nice, uh, nice, sorry, nice beef nice stew. stew. Nice beef stew. I've been working on slow cooking all day, so. Mmm. And that. Looks and smells delicious. Thank you. And so it's just a basic two burner stove uh, for food storage. The cabinet came into it, it helps part of the structure. It's attached to this wall there, so it gives more uh, mass support. Mm -hmm. Bottoms full of canned goods, tops full of miscellaneous. It did not come with a top drawer. Which is so fine. It collects my tall miscellaneous. Right. I'm always putting stuff here and there. I, I do not have solar or anything. I just run uh, my house battery when I'm going down the road. Mm -hmm. And for instance, I need to get a heavy duty relay so right. when I'm so going it's automatic I'm cheap I use a uh, cheap light switch that you get at Walmart for 68 cents mm -hmm. I on turn, turn it on when I'm going down the road and shut it off when you don't right and it works every th two or three months when the contacts get worn out from Arkin or so I just buy it 68 cents buy another one right I haven't I, I even wrote a little note on my dash turn off switch Right. But I'm so used to it now, it's just habit that when I start up, flip the switch on, when I stop, I shut it off. Right. And just basic, everything's uh, in bins. So if you need to move something instead of like built in and have to dig for it, just set it down and it's all right there. Right. So I, a nice cabinet it's here. It's all basic, just basic. I have my little dog here that keeps me uh, company. He's the, he's the driver, I work the pedals. He right. tells me where to go. Right. Of course, the above uh, the seat storage, just miscellaneous stuff up there, and mm -hmm. uh, you have to watch your head getting in and out. But, right. You know, this is my uh, hat, gloves, bug spray, garbage bags up top, and everything. I like it to be hanging so I can see where it's at. Right. Nothing too elaborate because it's free. <laughs> right. Free is good. You know, I have time to think about do pallets, stuff with pallets I may do cabinets with. Uh -huh. But the first thing is, you know, working on a, a few small water leaks mm -hmm. for the roof. And that's going to be taken care of here in a few days. Well, Doug, thanks so much for sharing your home with us. I really appreciate it. Uh, it's an inspiration to a lot of people that if you got no money, you can still have a good life. Yeah. Very, I live on social disability uh, a little under $800 a month. And it's, you know, the van and... That's why I don't have a lot of huge upgrades in here, but I like to go places. I'd right. rather go places and see things rather than building up the inside of the van where this is perfect. Spend Everything the money on works. gas. Gas money and getting there and uh, stuff like that. Right. I don't do restaurants at all or 99% because I you know, I cook for a living. That's right. what I was doing. So like we have the stew today, so I make you know fresh, real food wherever I go. Cool. You're popular wherever you go. Yeah, seems to be. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you know, most people, they have seen the van, but never you never stop, or I right. seem to, because I'm, you know, a major introvert. Right. You know, and being, just being here, I was here two years ago, I stopped at the entrance because it was too big of a crowd to enter. Right. And I just learned to deal with the emotional stuff and let it build around me and it, I can always leave if it gets real bad. Right, and the van has been healing for you, it sounds It has, like. it really has. And yeah. I, I hear that a lot, that the yeah. van is healing. So, Doug, thank you so much for sharing your uh, home and your life with us and your honesty. Yeah. Uh, it's just an inspiration for a lot of people that you can live on very, very little. Very little, yeah. And if somebody sees me and they need a repair or something, come by and knock on the door, ask. i give you a hand, because I'm one that... I will not leave a fellow traveler along right. the road. If somebody's pull, broke down, I'll pull over. Do you need a hand? So, folks, if you've, uh, if you've got anything out of this video, I hope you like us on YouTube, subscribe to the channel, and we'll talk to you later.